Hello, and welcome to Half Moon Bay Leisure Limited and Smart Tow A-Frame Towing Systems. The only dual sensing A-Frame system in Europe with Smart Box Duo electronic vacuum braking that maintains the level of vacuum in your towed vehicle's power brakes. No dead pedal. If your towed car has vacuum assisted power brakes, it is likely that this assistance will be required while in motion to meet the legally required braking efficiencies. Today, with the help of one of our nationwide installation centres, we are going to show you a typical Smart Tow installation. Smart Tow vacuum assisted braking systems make towing a vehicle safer and easier. There are many braking systems available today, but we are sure you will see the difference Smart Box Duo makes. First, we will open the Smart Box Duo packing that contains the comprehensive instructions and the Smart Box Duo vacuum pump. Smart Box Duo is the only dual sensing vacuum based system available in Europe. By using the car's own power brakes, pedal pressure is reduced to only 10 pounds in normal stopping. We are also the only vacuum assisted system that maintains the level of vacuum in the system to provide consistent braking from your towed vehicle. Let's take a look at the main components. First there are the full installation instructions, the pump unit, various pipes, plugs and connectors, the brake pedal air piston, the breakaway switch and the G-sensor unit. The first thing to do is sit down to read and understand the instructions. Carefully remove both side skirts to allow access to the front panel retaining fasteners. Ensure you do not damage the white plastic skirt retainers. Remove the triangular cover plates to give access to the front panel retaining fasteners. Open the front bonnet cover and remove all retaining screws. You will need a Torx driver to achieve this. Lift away the entire front plastic cover, taking care to disconnect the side repeater indicators. As this is our demo vehicle, we are going to install the vacuum pump under the passenger seat for ease of access. Ensure the vehicle battery is disconnected before unplugging any connector. Remove the polystyrene foot pad battery cover from under the carpet in the passenger footwell area. Now it's time to go under the car. Next we need to remove the front and rear plastic underclothes. Here you can see the vacuum assisted brake servo, brake pipes and the underside of the battery box. There are a number of locations under the floor where we could install the vacuum pump if we were not utilising under the passenger seat for demo purposes. As we are going to mount the vacuum pump on the carpet under the seat, six sticky velcro buttons are sufficient for locating it in place. The plastic pipework and cables are routed forward under the carpet to the battery well. Under the car, the rubber vacuum pipe 
is brought through a grommet in the battery box. Now we need to make up a vacuum line with check valve to allow the vacuum pump to tee into the vehicle's vacuum servo line. See page 11 of the installation instructions for further detail. It is important that the check valve is correctly orientated and placed upstream, i.e. towards the engine inlet manifold, from the T-point. Now we can turn our attention to the modified replacement CMS bar. Remove the polystyrene spacer from the vehicle's crash management system CMS bar. The CMS bar is held on by six Torx bolts, three on each side of the vehicle. The modified CMS bar is a straight replacement for the existing CMS. The polystyrene spacer is no longer required. At this point on the standard installation, we have finished under the front of the car and the plastic nose can be refitted. The front and rear under trays can also be refitted. The G-Force control box is mounted level and forward facing on the side of the footwell. As the smart brake pedal pivots up from the floor, we need to remove the pedal to attach an extension bracket to mount the air piston. This is very easy to do on the smart, but is not necessary on vehicles with top pivoted brake pedals. A simple bracket can be made from suitable metal plate, shaped and bolted to the pedal. Test fit the pedal to ensure correct operation and clearances. Connect the air pipe from the pump to the piston. Next, we move on to making the electrical connections in the battery box area. Make the electrical connections between the G-Force controller, the vacuum pump and the breakaway switch as per page 16 of the installation instructions. In this part of the video, we can see the fitment of a socket to allow operation of the vehicle's own stop, tail and indicator lights, as well as the mounting of the breakaway switch. The key points to remember about the Smart Toe system are, it, the A-frame is very lightweight, only 7.25 kilos, its length when folded is only 80 centimeters or 32 inches, all the braking activation is contained in the tow vehicle. There are no heavy braking components mounted on the tow frame. The A-frame folds and telescopes to fit in the boot of the car. It connects to the manufacturer's own tow points and there are no complicated mounting plate modifications. The whole system is easy to use. The system has a breakaway pin to apply the full power brakes in an emergency. Smartbox Duo requires two separate signals to activate the towed vehicle's brakes. Deceleration from the G-sensor plus a signal from the brake lights. Using two activation signals is the best method for eliminating complicated electronics, control unwanted or unnecessary activation of the towed vehicle brakes and allows for automatic reverse facilities as required by law. Safe, easy and legal towing. Thank you for watching the Smart Tow install video. All that is left to do now is hitch up, switch on and tow. It's that easy. If you have any questions, please call me on 07 950 968 348. My name is Alan and it has been a pleasure talking to you.
Happy Tommy.